بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this chapter I will talk about some basic probability concepts بعض المفاهيم الأساسية في الاحتمال Objectives After studying this chapter the student will understand classical relative frequency and subjective probability ثلاث أساليب للاحتمال Classical relative frequency and subjective The student will understand the properties of a probability and selected probability rules خصائص وقواعد الاحتمال The student will be able to calculate the probability of an event أن يكون قادرا على حساب احتمالية حادث معين The student will be able to apply Bayes theorem نظرية Bayes and particularly when calculating screening test results أو diagnostics tests Introduction The concepts of a probability is not foreign to health workers and is frequently encountered in everyday communications not only in health workers but in every field كثير من المواقف التي تواجهنا في الحياة تتطلب الاحتمال من أقوال الفلاسفة أنه لا شيء مؤكد في هذا العالم سوى الموت والضرائب وكثير من المواقف تتطلب احتمال For example, we may hear a physician say that a patient has a 50-50 chance of surviving a certain operation. Another physician may say that she is 95% certain that a patient has a particular disease. The probability that a sick patient who receives a new medical treatment will survive for 5 or more years. Last example, the probability it will rain tomorrow is 85%. Knowing the probability of these outcomes, helps us make decision أي أن معرفة الاحتمال تساعدنا في اتخاذ قرارات معينة فمثلا في المثال الأول على المريض أن يقرر فيما إذا كان يريد أن يخضع لهذه العملية أم لا وفي المثال الثاني على المريض أن يقرر فيما إذا كان يريد أن يأخذ العلاج أم لا وفي المثال الثالث على المريض مثلا أن أن يتوب وأن يرجع إلى الله وفي المثال الأخير على الشخص أن يحدد فيما أن يخرج من البيت أم لا أو إذا خرج من البيت عليها أن يأخذ معه أمبريلا In this chapter we assume that the population is known and calculate the chances of obtaining various samples from the population في هذه الوحدة رح نفترض أن المجتمع معلوم عكس الوحدة السابقة كان المجتمع unknown But in this chapter we assume the population is known وبنحسب حصة ظهور عينة ما من هذا المجتمع Thus the probability is the reverse of the statistics وبالتالي فإن الاحتمال هو عكس الإحصاء In probability we use the population information to infer the probable nature of the sample في الاحتمال بنستخدم إحنا معلومات المجتمع للاستنتاج عن احتمالية ظهور عينة ما بينما في الإحصاء يكون المجتمع غير معلوم ولمعرفة المعلومات المحتوى في المجتمع نأخذ عينة من هذا المجتمع وندرس خصائص هذه العينة ومن ثم نقوم بتعميمها للمجتمع إذا the probability عكس statistics When we say an event is subject to chance we mean that the outcome is in doubt and there are at least two possible outcomes هذا الحادث له حصة ظهور أي أن هناك تجربة ما لها على الأقل نتيجتان هذه التجربة تسمى Random Experiment A Random Experiment is an experiment for which the outcome is unknown with certainty هي تجربة ما بحيث أنه نتيجتها غير معرفة بشكل مؤكد The set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called a sample space The set of all possible outcomes is called a sample space مجموعة النتائج الممكنة مجموعة كل النتائج الممكنة لتجربة عشوائية تسمى بالسامبل سبيس Any subset of the sample space is called an event. أي مجموعة جزئية من هذا الفضاء is called an event. Probability is a mathematical construction that determines the likelihood of occurrence of events that are subject to chance. الاحتمال هو عبارة عن نموذج رياضي يحدد the likelihood of occurrence حصة ظهور حصة ظهور حوادث معينة والتي هي تكون عرضة للحظ. Probability is a numerical measure between zero and one. Probability هو عبارة عن مقياس عددي قيمته بين الصفر والواحد that describes the likelihood that an event will occur 
probabilities close to one indicate that the event is more likely to occur في حال إنه الاحتمال قريب من الواحد هذا يعني أن هذا الحادث له حصة ظهور عالية more likely to occur وإذا كان الاحتمال قريب من الصفر هذا يعني أن الإيفنت له حصة ظهور قليلة The probabilities assigned to events must satisfy these requirements We have three let's say axioms of the probabilities The first axiom is that the probability of any event must be non-negative that is greater than or equal to zero The probability of the entire sample space must be one The probability of having all the outcomes of the sample space should be one For two disjoint events, let's say A and B the probability of the union of A and B is equal to the sum of the probabilities of A and B that is, in notation, we use this formula probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B this is in case of having two disjoint events two events are said to be disjoint or we call them mutually exclusive if the intersection equal phi or probability of the intersection equal zero if we look at the first two properties or the first two axioms we can conclude that probability of any event let's say E should be between zero and one because any event is non-negative and the probability of the entire sample space is one so probability of any event should be between zero and one this does not contradict this statement We have three conceptual approaches to probability. The first one is the classical probability approach. The outcomes of a random experiment that have the same chance of occurring are called equally likely. عندما يكون عندنا تجربة نتائجها لها نفس حصة الظهور the same chance of occurring. We call these outcomes equally likely outcomes. The classical probability rule is applied to compute the probabilities of events. for an experiment in which all outcomes are equally likely نستخدم هذا الأسلوب من الاحتمالات عندما تكون لدينا تجربة نتائجها لها نفس حصة الظهور equally likely if an event can occur in in mutually exclusive and equally likely ways إذا كان عندنا حادث يحصل في in mutually exclusive أي أن هذه الحوادث disjoint and equally likely لها نفس حصة الظهور and if m of these possess a trait a The probability of the occurrence of E is equal to M over N فمثلا في تجربة رمي حجر نرد فإن السامبل سبيس لحجر النرد هو واحد اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة وهذه النتائج هي إيكوال لايكلي لأنه حجر النرد شكله مكعب واحتمالية حدوث أي وجه مساوية لاحتمالية حدوث أي وجه آخر لو افترضنا أن الحادث E هو عدد زوجي مثلا Even number. Even number that is the element of E is just two, four, and six. Then the probability of the occurrence of E, the probability of E, will be m divided by n. M is the number of these outcomes that satisfies this property, which is an even number. So probability of E is three over number of outcomes in the sample space, which is Six. Example. Consider the experiment of tossing a coin twice. Tossing a coin twice. List the experimental outcomes. Or we need the sample space, the set of all possible outcomes of this experiment. What is the probability of obtaining one head and one tail? What is the probability of obtaining at least one head? Okay, to answer these questions, we need to write the sample space. So let's say omega equal. In tossing a coin twice, we could have head, head, or head, tail, or tail, head, or tail, tail. So this is the sample space. This is the answer of part one. The answer of part two is, what is the probability of obtaining one head and one tail? One head and one tail. So this could be written as head, tail. tail or tail head we need one head and one tail so the number of outcomes in this event is just two 
So the probability of E is 2 over 4. The third question is what is the probability of obtaining at least one head? At least one head means either we have one head or two heads. So the outcomes of this event is HT or TH. Here we have exactly one H. But in the question we need at least one head. So this is HT, TH and we could have HH. So the probability of E in this question is 3 divided by 4. Example, find the probability of obtaining an even number in one roll of a die. And we have answered this before. Probability of even number equal half. For example, a human eye color is controlled by a single pair of genes. One from the father and one from the mother. Call the genotype. Brown eye color B is dominant over blue eye color L. Therefore, in the genotype BL consisting of one brown gene B and one blue gene L, the brown gene dominates. A person with a BL genotype has brown eyes. If both parents have brown eyes and have genotype BL, what is the probability that their child will have blue eyes? What is the probability that child will have brown eyes? To answer these questions, we need to look at the sample space, the set of all possible eye color genotypes for the child. So the sample space in this example is omega equal BB or BL or LB or LL. According to genetics theory, بناء على نظرية الوراثة, فإن هذه الأربع نتائج هي equally likely. These four possible genotypes for the child are equally likely. Now, probability of a blue eyes equal the blue eyes can occur only with the LL genotypes so we have only one outcomes out of four so it is one over four this is the first part the second part we need the probability that the child will have brown eyes brown eyes occur with the three remaining genotypes BB BL LB so probability of a brown eyes equal 3 over 4 الاسلوب الثاني للاحتمال يسمى relative frequency approach or empirical approach probabilities are assigned on the basis of experimentation or historical data يتم حساب الاحتمالات في هذا الاسلوب من خلال تجربة أو من خلال بيانات تاريخية. If some process is repeated a large number of times, let's say n, and if some resulting event with the characteristic E occurs m times, the relative frequency of occurrence of E will be m over n. And this is will be an approximation to probability of E. To express this definition in compact form, we write probability of E equal m over n or more precisely is approximately equal m over n we write it in this way but we keep in mind that m over n is only an estimate of probability of e في كثير من الأحيان تكون مخرجات التجارب ليست equally likely ما إلها نفس حصة الظهور في التجربة وبالتالي فإنه هناك أسلوب آخر لحساب الاحتمال عن طريق relative frequency approach في هذه الحالة نجري التجربة عدد كبير من المرات large number of times وبنعد كم مرة حدوث الحادث اللي احنا بنكون معنيين فيه الايفنت اي كم مرة حدوث الاي let's say m وبالتالي فان احتمالية حدوث هذا الحادث هو عدد مرات هذا الحادث على عدد مرات اجراء التجربة الكلي فمثلا لمعرفة ما هي احتمالية اختيار شخص ان تكون فصيلة دمه من النوع اي في فصيلة الدم لدينا اربع فصائل اي بي A, B, O احتمالية شخص أن تكون فصيلة دمه A ليست واحد على أربعة أو فصائل الدم هذه ليست equally likely لو كانت equally likely أنه ربع السكان نوع دمهم A والربع B وربع A, B وربع O 
ولكن في الواقع هذا ليس صحيح هناك إحصائية تقول بأن نسبة الأشخاص اللي فصيلة دمهم A هي 40% نسبة الأشخاص اللي فصيلة دمهم B هي 9% نسبة الأشخاص اللي فصيلة دمهم A B هي 4% ونسبة الأشخاص اللي فصيلة دمهم O هي 47% وبناء عليها يمكن تحديد احتمالية شخص له فصيلة دم معينة فمثلا لو قلنا ما احتمالية فصيلة الدم A احتمالية فصيلة الدم A هي تقريبا 40% ما احتمال أن أختار شخص من هذه الشعبة ويكون فصيلة دمه مثلا B نقول احتمالية ال B بتساوي 9% وليس واحد على 4 نأخذ المثال التالي وهو مثال أيضا عن فصيلة الدم In a sample of 50 people 21 had type O blood 22 had type A blood and 5 had type B blood This is the blood type And here we have the frequency for blood type A, B, AB, and O. The number of persons out of 50 that have blood type A are 22. Blood type B, we have 5. Blood type AB, we have 2. Blood type O, we have 21. Now the question is, Set up a frequency distribution, and this is the frequency distribution. And find the probability that a person has type O blood. Has type O blood probability of O equal number of persons have type blood O, which is 21, divided by the total number, which is 50. And this is 42%. percent. الأسلوب الثالث في الاحتمال يسمى subjective probability. هناك بعض المواقف تتطلب أن يتدخل الباحث في تحديد الاحتمالية أو دون معرفة السامبل سبيس فور راندوم اكسبيرمنت. In the subjective approach we define probability as a degree of belief the degree of belief that we hold in the occurrence of an event. Thus judgment is used as the basis for assigning probability. في هذه الحالة نستخدم حدث الشخص في تحديد احتمالية حدوث حادث معين. فمثلا الطبيب عندما يجري عملية ما يخبر المريض بأن نسبة نجاح هذه العملية 50% طبعا هذا 50% لم يتم اعتمادها بناء على تجربة معينة أو بناء على historical data تم تحديد هذه النسبة بناء على التحاليل الطبية بناء على نوعية المرض بناء على factors كثيرة لتحديد احتمالية نجاح هذه العملية يتم تدخل الطبيب في وضع الاحتمالية The use of the subjective approach is usually limited to experiments that are unrepeatable. فمثلا المريض يجري عملية ما. لا يمكن إجراء هذه التجربة مئة مرة ومن ثم نحصي كم مرة نجحت. ومن ثم عدد النجاحات على عدد مرات إجراء التجربة. طبعا هذا غير واقعي. وبالتالي subjective probabilities من الأمثلة عليها على النحو التالي. The probability of rain in the next 24 hours is very high. Another example, given a patient's health and extent of injuries, a doctor may feel that the patient has a 70% chance of a fall recovery. Calculating the probability of an event. كيف يمكن حساب احتمالية حادث معين? Complementary events. The complement of an event A is the set of outcomes in the sample space that are not included in the outcomes of event A. The complement of A is denoted by a complement. We may use this notation or this notation. So the complement of an event A, let's say that we have this event A. The complement of A is the set of outcomes in the sample space that are not included in A. That means only this part. This is A complement. Now the rule for the complementary event is probability of A complement equal 1 minus probability of A. Why? Because omega is just A union A complement. So probability of omega equal probability of A plus probability of A complement. I use here plus because A and A complements are disjoint events. There is no intersection between A and A complement. So I use this one. Probability of omega is 1. 
So probability of a complement can be written as one minus probability of a. So this is the first rule. It is called the complementary rule. Let's see this example. If the probability that a person lives in an industrialized country of the world is 0.2, find the probability that a person does not live in an industrialized country. So let's say probability of A is 0.2, which is a probability that a person lives in an industrialized country. So what is the probability that this person does not live in an industrialized country is A complement. So probability of A complement is just 1 minus 0.2, which is 0.8. Another example. Suppose we have five medications which can be used to treat a particular case and two of these medications have undesirable side effects. If one of these medications is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the medication will have an indesirable side effect? What is the probability that the chosen medication will not have an indesirable side effect? Let A be the chosen medication will have an undesirable side effect. So probability of A will be 2 out of 5. So it's 2 divided by 5. So this is part 1. Now, part 2, what is the probability that the chosen medication will not have an undesirable side effect? It is probability of A complement, which is 1 minus 2 over 5, which is 3 over 5. Joint probability. Sometimes we want to find the probability that a subject picked at random from a group of subjects possesses two characteristics at the same time. أحيانا نحن بحاجة لحساب احتمالية شيء ما هذا الشيء يحقق خاصيتين في نفس الوقت فمثلا في هذا الشكل لدينا خاصية A وخاصية B event A و event B وبنسأل في نفس الوقت ما احتمالية أن يكون هذا الشيء مشترك ما بين A و B أي أننا بحاجة لمنطقة التقاطع A and B أو نحن بحاجة لاحتمالية A تقاطع B لنأخذ المثال التالي لتوضيح هذه الفكرة In a hospital unit there are 8 nurses and 5 physicians 7 nurses and 3 physicians are females If a staff person is selected Find the probability that this subject or this person is a nurse and a male Let us summarize the data or the given information in the following table so we have either nurses or physician or we may have male or female. We have eight nurses and five physicians. Eight nurses and five physicians. Seven nurses and three physicians are female. Seven nurses are female and three physicians also are female. So the rest are males. So here we have one male and here we have two males. So the total of male is three and the total of female is 10. The total number of subjects is 13. Now the question is, if a person is selected at random from these 13 person, what is the probability that this person is a nurse and a male? Is a nurse and a male? The answer is probability of male and nurse. So we are asking about two characteristics here, male and nurse. It is just the number of those subjects who satisfies both characteristics at the same time, which is one, divided by the total number of subjects, which is 13. Marginal probabilities. Marginal probability is the probability of a single event without consideration of any other event. هي احتمالية حدوث حادث معين خاصية واحدة بغض النظر عن بقية الحوادث فمثلا في المثال السابق we need to calculate the probability that a person is a nurse لاحظ ان المثال السابق يحتوي على اربع خصائص nurse, physicians, male and female هلأ لحساب احتمالية خاصية واحدة فقط بغض النظر عن بقية الخصائص بنسمي هذا الاحتمال marginal Probabilities. نرجع للمثال السابق لننظر إلى الجدول ونحن بحاجة لحساب probability of nurse probability of 
nurse. The probability of nurse equal number of nurses people divided by the total number. The number of nurse people, if you look at this table, the number of nurse people we have eight. Irrespective of the gender, male or female, we don't look at this characteristic. We have only the total number of nurses is eight divided by the total number of all people, which is 13. So the answer will be eight divided by 13. Eight divided by 13. We call this marginal probability because in fact, in order to find this, we look at the marginal. We look at the marginal, which is eight divided by 13. Conditional probability. Sometimes we need to calculate the probability of something given that other event is occurred. So we need to take into account some event already occurred and we are asking about what the probability of another event will occur. The sample space of interest may be reduced by a condition not applicable to the total group. When probabilities are calculated with a subset of the total group as the denominator, the result is a conditional probability. For example, في رمي حجر نرد total sample space is six. We have one, two, up to six. But if I ask you, what is the probability of getting one? What is the probability of getting one in rolling a die? Given that the occurred number is odd, I'm telling you that the occurred number is odd. So here we don't divide by six, but we divide by three because the occurred number is odd. So it is either one or three or five. I'm asking you what is the probability of getting one? So it is one over a three. So in this case, we reduced the sample space from six to, to three. We don't divide by six because you already have an information that the occurred number is odd. So we divide by three. This type of probability, we call it conditional probability. The conditional probability is the probability that an event will occur given that another event has already occurred. If A and B are two events, then the conditional probability of event A given B is written as probability of A given, we use this notation for the conditional probability given, probability of A given B. In the previous example, find the probability that a male person is a nurse. A male person is a nurse. Find the probability that a male person. So this is given. This is an information. And we are asking what is the probability that this male is a nurse. We write this in this way. Probability of a nurse given that he is male. So given that he is male, if you look at the table before, he is male. Okay, so we have three males. What is the probability that this male is an nurse? We have only one. So it is one out of three. So the answer is one over, over three. How to calculate the conditional probability? We have a formula for that. If A and B are two events, then probability of A given B equal probability of A intersect B divided by probability of B, given that probability of B is not zero. Of course, probability of B is not zero because B is already occurred. So before, it had a probability to be occurred. So it's not zero. So this is the conditional probability rule. The reasoning behind this definition is that if B has occurred, if B has occurred, then only the portion of A that is contained in B could occur, which is A intersect B. Look at this. We have this is the sample space, omega. But I'm telling you that B already occurred. B already occurred. So the, the outcome is from this side only. Now, what is the probability of A occur? It is just this portion. This portion divided by the total number of observation or the total number of elements in B. So it is A intersect B divided B. So it is the probability of A intersect B divided by probability of B. We don't divide by probability of omega, but probability of B. So this is the conditional probability of A given B. Let's see this example. Find the probability that a person is a male and a nurse. Find the probability that a person is, is a male and a nurse. So here I'm asking 
both characteristics. This is a joint probability, in fact. Probability of a male intersect nurse. But I want to answer this question using the conditional probability. Look at the conditional probability rule. We have here in the numerator, we have the intersection. And in the denominator, we have probability of B. I can write this one as a probability of male times the probability of nurse given male. Why? Because this one, probability of nurse given male equal probability of the intersection divided by probability of male. And probability of male is here. So it can be canceled from the numerator and from the denominator of this part. If we look at the table before, probability of male, this is a marginal probability. This is a type of marginal probability. Probability of male is just the number of males divided by the total number, which is 3 divided by 13. 3 divided by 13. Multiplied by probability of nurse given male. Probability of nurse given male, we just found this one, which is 1 over 3. So the answer is just 1 over 13. We can answer this question directly from the table, but I use here the conditional rule. I mean, probability of male intersect nurse is male intersect nurse, so we have this one, 1 over 13. So you can answer this question directly, but again, I wanted to explain the conditional rule in another way. The multiplication rule. In fact, this example is about the multiplication rule. If A and B are two events, then the probability of A and B, A and B joint, is written as probability of A intersect B. The multiplication rule is given by probability of A intersect B equal probability of A times probability of B given A. Example, a statistics course has seven male and three female students. The professor wants to select two students at random to help him conduct a research project. What is the probability that the two students chosen are female? So here we need only two students. The professor wants to select two students and we are asking what is the probability that the two students chosen are female? What is the probability that the first one is female and the second one is female? According to the multiplication rule, this is equal probability of the first one is female times probability of the second one is female given that the first one is female. So probability of the first one is female is 3 out of 10. Probability of female is 3 divided by 10. Multiplied by now the probability of female. The second one is female. Given that the first one is female. We have already chosen the first student. So now the total number of students is 9 not 10. Because we already choose one person. So now the probability of female. The second one is female. Is not 3 but 2 divided by 9. The answer is 1 over 15. Independent events. Two events A and B are said to be independent. We call the two events independent. If the occurrence of one does not affect the probability of the occurrence of the other. بنسمي الحديثين مستقلين independent, independent events. إذا كان حدوث الأول لا يؤثر على احتمالية حدوث الثاني. In other words, A and B are independent events if either probability of A given B equal probability of A. Sorry, this is a probability of A. Or probability of B given A equal probability of B. Note this. Probability of A given B equal probability of A. So, B is given or is not given. Probability of A given B equal probability of A. We call these two events independent, independent events. And in this case, the multiplication rule will be probability of A intersect B equal probability of A times probability of B. Not probability of B given A because probability of B given A for independent event will be probability of B. 
the events that are not independent we call them dependent two events are either mutually exclusive or independent يعني إما بيكون فين الحادثين mutually exclusive disjoint or independent معنى independent إن هم they are joint not mutually exclusive because for the independent event we have a probability of A intersect B equal probability of A times probability of B this is provided that the probability of A not equal 0 and the probability of B not equal 0 that means probability of intersection is a positive number between 0 and 1 and 0 is not included so there is an intersection there is an intersection between A and B so if there is an intersection between A and B we don't call these events mutually exclusive okay they are not mutually exclusive for the independent events there is an intersection so they are not disjoint but for mutually exclusive events they are disjoint so in general we can say two events are either disjoint or not disjoint mutually exclusive events are always dependent why because they are mutually exclusive for example roll a die we have let's say a odd number and b even number these two events a odd b even these two events are mutually exclusive they are not independent but they are dependent why they are dependent because once an odd number is occur then an even number will not occur so they are dependent independent events are never mutually exclusive independent events are never mutually exclusive because probability of independent event is a number which is not zero that means a intersect b is not phi is not phi so independent events are never mutually exclusive dependent events dependent events may or may not be mutually exclusive the dependent events may or may not be mutually exclusive ممكن يكون في تقاطع او ما يكون في تقاطع للحوادث الغير مستقلة نأخذ المثال التالي Approximately 9% of men have a type of color blindness that prevents them from distinguishing between red and green If three men are selected at random, find the probability that all of them will have this type of red-green color blindness. Lahadoni, we, we choose the three person and we ask what is the probability that all of them will have this type of red-green color blindness. So these men are independent. So here we have independent events. And the probability of having a type of color blindness is 9%. So the probability of the first one has a type of color blindness and the second one and the third one we can call them A1 intersect A2 intersect A3. So this is equal the probability of the first one to be blindness is 9% and the second one is 0.09 also and the third one is 0.09. Here I use the multiplication rule for three events. These three events are independent. And the multiplication rule is just the product of each of them. The addition rule. Given two events A and B, the probability that event A or B or both occur may be written as probability of A union B equal probability of A plus probability of B minus the intersection. The union of two events can be represented in the following diagram. Let's say we have this is the sample space omega. This is A and this is B. Now A union B means the set of all elements in A and the set of all elements in B without repetitions. That means this is the union of A and B. Now the probability of A union B is the probability of A. Let's repeat the diagram again here. This is A and this is B. Now the probability of A union b equal probability of a so it is this one it is this part plus probability of b that is it is this part note that the intersection between a and b 
is repeated two times so we need to subtract the intersection one time so for that the rule of the union is the probability of the first event plus the probability of the second event minus the probability of the intersection example in a group of 2500 persons 1400 are female 600 are vegetarian and 400 are female and vegetarian 1400 are female out of 2500 we have 600 are vegetarian out of 2500 we have 400 female and vegetarian out of 2500 what is the probability that a randomly selected person from this group is a male or vegetarian i will leave this example as an exercise for you another example the following table shows physicians who smoked at some time it classified according to their age and current frequency of smoking so we have a total of 339 persons and here in the rows we have the age group and in the columns we have the frequency of smoking a physician is selected at random find the probability that the physician is from 40 to 49 years old we need the probability that this person is from 40 to 49 years old so we need this person to be from this category the probability is equal to the number of persons who is that in that category which is 79 divided by the total number is 339 this is a marginal probability because we are asking about one category find the probability that the person is occasionally small what is the probability that this person is from this category so the probability is equal to the number of persons who is occasionally smoked which is 60 divided by the total number of persons which is 339 part 3 What is the probability that this person is from 40 to 49 years old and daily smoke? This is a joint probability. We are asking about two categories or two characteristics at the same time. He is from this age group and he is daily smoke. So if we look at the table again, he is from this category and did smoke and this one so the intersection here is 29 it is the probability of the intersection of these two categories equal 29 divided by 339 now part 4 the probability that this person is from 30 to 39 years old or not at all the smoke or so this is the addition rule we have this person from this age group or not at all the smoke from this here according to the addition rule this is equal probability of the union of these two characteristics equal probability of the first one probability of the first one that the person from this age group 30 to 39 and it is 100 89 divided by 339 plus the probability of being from the second group only from the second category this one not at all smoke that is we have 103 this is 103 divided by 339 now minus minus the intersection the intersection is 49 so the answer is 49 divided by 339 and then you need to find the final answer what is the probability that the, this person is not 50 years old or older is not 50 years old is not from this category or older 
so he is only from these age groups or you can use the complement rule that is let a be the person is from this group 50 years or older so the probability is the number of persons who is in this category which is 24 divided by 339 but in our equation we need the probability that the person is not is not 50 years old so we just take the complement of this one probability that the person is not from the 50 years old group so this is 1 minus 24 divided by 339 the last part part 6 what is the probability that the person is occasionally small given that given that so this is a an example of conditional probability what is the probability that he is occasionally smokes occasionally smoke given that he is from this age group from 40 to 49 you can use either the conditional rule the intersection divided by the marginal or you can calculate the probability from the table so he is from 40 to 49 groups and we need to calculate the probability of he is occasionally smoke so looking at the table again he is from this category he is from here so I know his age is between 40 and 49 and I'm asking what is the probability that he is occasionally smokes occasionally smokes so we are asking what is the probability of being from this cell or from these persons so the answer is 21 divided by 79 so we divide by 79 not 339 because in this equation or by giving this information that he is from 40 to 49 years old we reduce the sample space from 339 to 79 so the answer is 21 divided by 79 So by this example, we end the first part of chapter 3. This is some exercises about this part. I leave them for you.